My name is Marla Fries, and I use my intuition to help people. I psychically see, hear, and feel information that provides insight about any aspect of someone's life, their family, health, work, home, and romance. This spiritual guidance comes to me in the form of messages. These messages support growth and help people see things clearly. I often receive information about past events, what's going on in the present, and I can sometimes glimpse the future. As a medium, I facilitate communication and connection between the living and those who have crossed over. I see what the dead show me, I feel their emotions, and I hear their messages. I do this work one-on-one, -on -one, over the phone, in groups, large and small, on television and radio. I would like to introduce you to this light, but watch it, powerful, Marl Freeze. ask for help too. You need to trust that the benevolent nature that is attached to you is attached to a source that is going to help and guide you if you're willing to listen. Places, things, structures. <sighs> okay, um, well I have immediately historical layers of energy here. There is a vibrational uh, thing happening in this house that I need to address right away. It's really disturbing. I'm having these deja vu images of, I hate to say the word orgy, but something going on here. Orgy and debauchery. Do you know about any of that? There were orgies here. I mean, really. Crazy, like, parties. He's a penthouse photographer. There is music here. I keep hearing music. But someone tried really hard here to make something happen. You know, remember I kept talking about the word try? It's like she tries so hard. And uh, it's getting over this sort of emotional and vibrational and energetic hump. And I feel sort of small when I'm in here. And I think Julie needs to feel bigger and grow into the woman that she desires so to be. I'm having a hard time not to just let the waterworks go because it's so, it's speaking to me so strongly. So you're thinking Marla did the magic? Yes, it's for real. <laughs> my name is Harry Hamlin, and this is my wife, Lisa Rinna. When our love story began, I was an up-and-coming actress, and Harry was a Hollywood heartthrob. They say Hollywood marriages don't last. Well, I guess we're the exception. The value that I find in, in a psychic, a real good psychic, it's like therapy. It's a positive therapy session. Hello? You know, there's actually one that I've really wanted to see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a new one who's supposed to be phenomenal. She'll read the house. She'll read us. Lisa, so nice to meet Welcome. you. Welcome. I'm Harry. Nice Harry. to meet you. It's a Thank good you. sign the door opened by itself, yes, which it means did. that you're to come in. She reads Harry. God knows what she might find. <laughs> I'm 
So well, let's walk really through it. first and look around right. because there are some family artifacts here. The grandfather clock yeah. was my grandfather's yeah. oh, clock. Oh, excuse me, but you're never on time. It doesn't matter whether you have the clock or not. You're not on time. Oh, for what? Do anything. I'm always on time for everything. No, you're not. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Are you <laughs> the main thing that comes up in walking into the house is your business. Well, I think Belle Gray is yeah. a very important issue. Belle Gray is the clothing store that Lisa and I started seven years ago. I want to know if it's something we're meant to be doing or if it's something we're meant to let go. You let go. It's not necessary. You have bigger fish to fry. That's how I feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I just can't, maybe not. I was so completely frustrated with Harry. He just got more and more defensive. It's just right beyond. Now. And what's but. more important, our relationship or the store? Our landlord has given us a three-day or quit notice. We'll pay the rent on Monday. I promise you. My frame of reference as a psychic profiler is if I'm in the car right here, I'm feeling things, so I'm gonna step out. Okay. If there was sexual assault, which there may have been, she doesn't want her family to have to relive that. I know that she sat here for hours, dead. So after the altercation, nobody found her. Oh, my neck. Every time I step back into this car, I'm, I'm assuming that the car is here. It's like pulling right in there. It's like pulling. So when she comes and, and comes to this plane or comes to this frequency of being living, she allows herself and me to feel the feelings of what happened to her. My throat is starting to tighten up. I'm getting tight on my throat, like I'm losing my voice. So, this isn't what she planned for her life. This is not what she, how she wanted to live, end her life. This is not, of course, what she wanted her family to be left with. It appears that she did die in her vehicle. And she was left there yeah. for many days or many hours. Janet died from a broken neck. Okay. Um, you mentioned something about a window. The place where her body was found was near the driver's side window. We're on point with all of that. Yeah, that's so, good, okay. Marla Fries is a regular co-host on Whitley Strieber's Dreamland. Marla is the psychic medium expert on the show and interviews best-selling authors on their cutting-edge books. Dreamland can be found on Whitley Strieber's unknowncountry.com, the largest site of its kind, with more than 20 million hits per month. Hi, this is Marla Fries, and welcome to Dreamland. I receive messages from the benevolent, loving source connected to all of us. It is my experience that consciousness survives death. I feel blessed to be able to share these messages that help people grow and transform their lives. From a point of faith, from a point of love. 